what I have here is, this is my personal Xbox One system. It's the older style, of course. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna show you how to take the face plate and the top case off and uh, deal with this side panel with a butter knife. And the reason I'm doing that is, most people who um, need to take their system apart for whatever reason won't necessarily have one of these tools on hand. Um, this is what I use most often to do it. It's plastic, so um, it's a little more gentle when you're when you're you're taking you know plastic pieces apart. You're less likely to scratch it. But um, that's why a butter knife is pretty good because it's not sharp and uh, it's pretty durable, so it won't bend too much, which is what you want when you're taking this stuff apart. So, um, and I'm doing this specifically for a customer of mine who uh, sent me a system to repair and I sent, uh, shipped it back and uh, I use uh, USPS uh, medium flat rate service a lot, uh, which is fine. The system fits just in it, so you only have enough room to bubble wrap this once over around each side. And um, if it takes a, a ding, which this one did, and I'll put a picture actually in this video, maybe right here if I can. This lip here on the front uh, popped out a little bit. Not not a lot, but enough where it, it looks bad, you know, because <laughs> you certainly don't want that. It's also a possibility that when I put it back together that I didn't put that lip in there. I, I don't think so because I, I looked them over quite a bit. Uh, I even test them out after I put them back together and everything like that. So And it's never happened before. So I'm thinking it happened in shipping, but I don't know. Anything's possible. So at the very least, I want to show you how to take one of these apart. I know there's plenty of videos on this, but I'm going to try to really go in to really show you the detail here and the nitty gritty of it. I'm going to show you each step. Now, the nice thing about, uh, I'll get to the part where you need to use a screwdriver, but this should be enough anyways to, to resolve this person's problem. So, uh, let's get started here. So the first part is, when you're looking at your Xbox One, you want to go to your, your left side here, and you want to take this piece off. Now, there's nothing holding this in but a bunch of clips. You want to just put your, your, your knife in here, and all you want to do is pull straight upwards. And as soon as I did that, one of these sides came off. And you want to get both sides started, so now put it again in the other side. You can see it came right off. Uh, when you have a system that hasn't been taken apart before, it's a little bit more snug, so it takes a little more effort to, to take off. But you can see here, um, that already did it, and this piece is off. So, so now this is, you got things started. Now the next thing to take off, there's a little clip here behind the sync button. And the sync button on this is an actual real button. Um, unlike the front buttons, which are those uh, touch-sensitive things um, for these two here, where you just touch and they go on and off. I hate those buttons. I'm actually very happy about the Xbox One S having real buttons. Uh, anyways, next thing you want to do is pull this plastic piece off. So we're going to use our knife. We're just going to, there's two holes and um, there's, uh, there's these two little pegs that come out and it goes right in those holes. So this, so this piece actually holds this in place here because this just slides back. And aside from that outer plastic piece, it would come right off. But with with not with this piece not in place, the sync button doesn't work because it uses this little um, I don't know what you call that little nub here to press the button when you push the the piece down there. Okay, so that's uh, that's two pieces. Now the tricky bit is to get the top case off. Um, it's not that hard to do, but this is where you're really going to need some sort of prying tool. You actually pull up on the bottom and push down, and you'll hear the clip sound, and then it'll come right out like that. So I'll show you one more time. So just down and up, and that'll come right out. Now, use your, uh, your right hand in this case to keep these two things apart so it doesn't clip back together. And there's no clip here. There'll, there is a, um, a warranty sticker here. Um, now, I, I don't always pull this off myself. Uh, this one I bought from GameStop, it didn't have a warranty sticker, but sometimes the people that send them to me, I only undo either the bottom usually or the top, but I do one half and I leave the sticker on. But uh, So it looks like I didn't actually go in the system, but but believe me, I did. Um, but if you don't care, it, you know, it doesn't matter. The, story, the sticker doesn't mean anything other than to Microsoft that it's out of warranty, but every system I see now has been out of warranty for a long time, so it's not a thing. But anyways, um, so we're gonna push back. There's no clips here. But there's three clips here, here, and here. And um, this is where you do need to use your knife. And um, you don't want, again, you want to be careful with the prying because you don't want to, uh, to mess up your plastic here. And uh, I'm going to push it apart a little bit there just to kind of get this to snap in. So let's see if we can get this to fit. Yeah, there we go. So I, I didn't do much there other than push away and then push the knife in. And these clips are going to naturally start to let go. So now I'm going to move my hand down a little bit. And we're going to go towards the center one here. So put it in where the knife goes comfortably in. And then again, we want to uh, 
there. We want to kind of wedge our way in there. I could see the edge there, which is where I went. But uh, you can see there's the clip, and I'll show you when I get the top case off how that kind of that mechanism works. But now we're down to our last clip. So this is the last one. Again, if this is a system you haven't opened before, you do have to apply a little bit of force, but um, not a lot. So we're going to get again to this last one here. Make sure you can see that. Um, I'm move my finger in just a little bit more. You're always pushing away, which will help in the process. Getting that last one to go can be tricky. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, I'm just thinking about how I could make that a little easier. I haven't actually done the, I usually use the smaller splunger. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna try that one more time and see if I can do that a little quicker this time. So we're gonna go right back to the process and let's see if we can get a better system. So again, push down, pull up, and then continue to separate. Okay, now this one is the trickiest only because there isn't a lot of space to fit your knife. Okay, but that one clips like that. Now what I noticed in doing it the last time is the closer you get to the actual clip, the better. So yeah, all right, so you want to separate enough to see what you're getting at. You should see just the edge of the, la of the, uh, of the other clip there. So you want to go right on top of it. This last one just seems to be tricky, but... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. All right, so yeah, so get as close to the clip as possible. And what I'm doing is I'm wedging in, I'm basically pushing this down and then pulling up. Okay, and once you do that, now on some of the newer systems, I have an earlier video I made of doing this, and sometimes there's a clip over on this side, sometimes that gives you a little bit of trouble too. But for the most part, once you've opened a system once, it's easy enough to do. Now what we're gonna do is flip the system around, and the front of the system is here. And we're just gonna lift forward. Now I want you to be able to see this, but we're gonna lift forward and as we're doing that, maybe the best way to do this is I'll put it on its side so you can kind of see what's going on on the front here. But um, this front part here, the, the front piece, um, has a natural sort of bend to it. So we're going to, um, uh, I just want not a bend, but the way this, this wedges in here is uh, it clips in and you push up. I'll be able to show that better when this is off. But uh, so you lift this top piece and it's okay for the front part of the case to come forward like that. Okay, and uh, we're gonna keep lifting and then it's just gonna, as we lift up and pull forward, the front part will come right off. Okay, I wanna make sure I get everything here on camera. So let's move this up a little bit. Um, now, uh, I've made mention of this too a little bit. There is a, uh, oh, I've shown this several times. There is a, flat cable here that connects to the front board and um, for this example here I'm gonna undo it what I, what I was gonna say is that uh, you don't need to do much more than this you could put it back you could basically um, fit the front panel back in but I wanted to take this off completely just so I can show you okay so this is how this all comes off so this is the uh, the top and the front they're both attached now on this front thing here, if we want to take it off, and we actually do want to separate the two, and I'll show you why, it's actually easier to put together when you do. Uh, what you want to do is lift up these tabs, just one by one, like that, and this will pop right off. Now I've seen uh, some systems that have been opened before coming in, especially my white Xbox One I got from GameStop, and all these clips were cracked uh, in the middle. Uh, I don't know why, I guess maybe somebody tried to really just pull the two apart without doing that, um, we're doing what you just saw me do there. Uh, we, if you can see here on this, there's these little guys here that go into here. And there's these tabs a little further up that they, they come out a little bit that hold this here. So this fits in by all those tabs lining up and then squeezing together. And these little tabs just go over the top like that. If you can see that, see? And it connects really nice and it holds together really well, um, but you don't want to pull to separate it. You just want to lift these tabs to do it. Like I said, you just do one by one. Now, uh, I'm going to show you why you want to separate the two here in just a moment. Okay. So now we have the top case separated from the bottom case, uh, from the bottom case here. Now, what I want to show you here is, uh, well, from this point, you would want a uh, Torx screwdriver if you're going to take your hard drive out or you're going to replace something. Uh, as I mentioned before in my other video, you disconnect these two cables here, undo these two screws. This is, these are both T8 screws. 
take pull straight up on this is pull this straight up off and then there's a screw underneath and there's eight of these t10 screw heads and when you take all those off combined this top case will come off there's a cable underneath this card you got to pull from the motherboard but you'll have full access to your entire xbox one i'm not going to go quite that far yet or for this video that's not my purpose my purpose is to show you how to get the top off uh, the plastic part off and and then get to you know the other screws and stuff but now um in putting this back together it's obviously uh, a reverse of what we just did, but it's much easier to snap together. You don't need a knife to do it, and you don't need any tools to get it back together. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the faceplate on independent of the top part of the case. Okay, so we have this little clip here, and um, I wanted to show you... I, I have a video on taking this on and off, but basically you have this nice little blue thing that goes around the connector. So we push this into the connector, and then push that, that little plastic tab in, and put that down over the top. And uh, the plastic naturally holds the uh, the connector in, so now we just can't pull it out. So when you want to take this off, it might have been hard to see that before, but because it was on an angle and it was on its side. But we're going to um, we're going to do just that. So we lift the plastic off, and then push this out. So again, to put this back on, sorry. You know, this cable doesn't stretch very far, and you have to be careful with it because it's a, one of those flexible cables. It rips very easy. Um, I, it doesn't rip extremely easy. It rips if you if you pull it too too taut, right? But uh, but there, I think that should show up on camera. So we're putting that in, and then we're um, let me try that again. It's getting caught up on me there. There, we put it in, push this plastic piece in, and then wrap the plastic around, and there we go, and it's back on. Now, for putting this faceplate on, this is pretty simple. Again, there's a bunch of little clips here, um, and this is what prevents you, I think, from just forcing this or pushing this in directly. You can't really just push it in. It, it goes at an angle, like that, and then you push down, okay? And it holds on nicely. And it should line up really nice. That's what I'm saying. It, I don't believe I did it uh, because it's so simple to put together. Uh, but to show you again, see, it just it just comes off like that. See that? And then you put it back together again. Okay. So we want to get our faceplate on first. Make sure that connector's on. That connector controls or is for the power button, the eject, and the sink on the side. So you got to make sure you remember to connect that back up again. Okay, so now we just got to put our top case back on, which is again probably the trickiest part of this process. But this it, this really is much easier than taking it apart. Okay, so we want to leave this face plate, and you want to make sure that it's it's you know it's pushed forward. And um, as I was showing you before, it has these these clips that all line up nicely with the top. You can you can visibly see that. It's kind of a crappy light system going on here, but uh, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So basically, I want to line. Yeah, I should be able to see that. I want to line up the front. All right, the trickiest part to mention is on here. See, I mentioned I was going to show you these clips. There's, um, these are the back clips. So here's our um, section here where there's no clips. There actually are two, but um, they don't really latch. Uh, but these are little pieces here that... Uh, uh, that just latch. There's no, there's no real rough edge to them or anything like that. It's just a matter of getting them to the the two plastic ends to separate enough to dislodge from each other. Um, but you don't want to force anything. Anyways, so we're gonna line up the front here. Oh yeah. So my point was there is uh, there is a clip on this side. So this is the only one you have to be kind of aware of. On the, right this edge right here, if you can see that. Um, this first clip goes in here, and this clip, this clip, sorry. Um, so this and this go here and here, and then there's a little clippy thing, a holder on a thing that goes in there. So when, just be aware of that. So when you're putting this top case down, you want to make sure that this clip isn't hitting this or this. It's going right in the middle. And if you line that up, it'll fit together really nice. So we're going to, um, usually you want to look at it from an angle, and you want to make sure... Like I said, that it's it goes right in between where it's supposed to go in. And then on this front panel, you just line it up. And everything I can feel is already in the right place. It might take a little bit to get it um, you know, the way you want it for you. But if you get this all lined up, you should that's it. You just push straight down and it, it connects right in. Uh, like I said, putting it together is, is way easier. And you can see here on the side that everything is all lined up. Okay. 
And that's it. So getting this back together is extremely simple. Uh, I'm going to do a video very shortly on the Xbox One S. I haven't done one of those before, so it should be interesting to see uh, how easy they are to take apart. I think they're, they're relatively straightforward, but um, it, it may be a very different process. I don't know. But, uh, but here we go. And so we want to first put in this clip. Remember to put this clip in. If you forget this clip, the sync button won't work. And you can hear it. See? Um, you got to remember to put that back in. And try not to lose it. Um, I never lost one, but uh, I did have uh, an Xbox I ordered which didn't have a case. <laughs> and uh, this was the tricky part to get. I did eventually find it, but uh, I think they wanted $10 for it or something like that. But now for this uh, side panel here. You know, you just line everything up um, in place, and then you just, again, push down, and you're good to go. So putting it together is the easy part, for sure. Taking it apart is the annoying bit, but like I said, you can do it with a, um, with a butter knife, with one of these things. This is called a plastic pry tool. You can find them so inexpensively on eBay. You could get like a whole bag of them for $5, and, and you'd never run out, because they do break pretty easy. But there you go. Yeah, so that's the whole process. Again, a uh, longer video than this probably should be, but uh, I wanted to really give you an idea for what you're in for. A lot of people uh, are afraid to take their electronics apart for obvious reasons. They're expensive, and um, if you break something, um, it's uh, very upsetting, and I don't blame you for that. I haven't had that problem myself, but I've had quite a few come in with um, a lot of cracked plastic pieces. But uh, if you do what I just showed you there, you'll be fine every time I've taken apart um, many an Xbox One at this point, uh, I don't know, 30 to 50 of them, I'd say. And then I've taken the same system apart multiple times. So I'm pretty, I feel pretty good at the process at this point. And um, uh, you will too, if you uh, uh, do what I just showed you here. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everything. I got uh, my next video to make, which will be to uh, take the Xbox One S apart, uh, which should be exciting. But um, I've got another video. I'll point this out in the other video too. But oh my god, this is the best. You can hear that? Real buttons. So a real power button and a real eject button. And the sync button's down here too, which is nice. Everything's all in the front. Um, this is this is this really is the ultimate design. I like how they the USB's in the front here. There's no buttons on the side. On either side there. Everything's in the back. You don't have any connect port. Oh well, and they still keep the lock. If you have those um, security cables for laptops, you can, it's on both. I, I don't know how many people are aware of that or even really care, but uh, but you can actually lock this. I mean, you could cut the wire, you could do a bunch of things, but I, I do think that's funny. And then of course the, uh, you know, no external brick. This definitely is heavier. I'm not sure, I'm not sure the weight difference. We gotta check that out actually. Actually, you know what? Let me do that really quick, just for fun. I'll add that to the video. If you got this far, you, you got a special treat of, of me weighing an Xbox. Okay, so I got this uh, this cheap scale from uh, eBay. Uh, this is mostly so when I'm mailing things, I can weigh it. But this says it has a max of 11 pounds. So let's uh, let's turn it on. Oops, can't have it. Hold it. Well, there we go. Here we want zero. Let's see, right now it's at zero, so that's good. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. But it reads uh, seven pounds. 12 ounces basically 11.9 so seven pounds 12 ounces so let's let's see what a uh i don't think that's accurate though i, I think uh, when i mail them they tend to weigh more like eight something so but anyways here's the s weigh that i got six pounds five ounces 5.6 so six pounds six ounces we'll say and we'll uh, get a second measurement there but that seems to be pretty consistent yeah six pounds six ounces Look at that. So it has the power brick built in and it still weighs a pound less. It's fantastic. Yeah, seven pounds, 12 ounces. So that's, uh, or 11.8. Um, so that's the difference of, uh, yeah, six ounces, a pound and six ounces. Wow. Okay. Oh, there you go. I don't know. Let me know if this video helped you. I don't know if that's something that uh, people really care about. I know I had a few people interested in, 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 in seeing, uh, seeing me take the Xbox One apart again, but um, if you, uh, if you just want to get the plastic part off or get to that part, uh, it's about as easy as, uh, as easy as I can make it. Okay. Thanks a lot.